Yo guys, Fiftax here, back with another video, and in today's video guys, I'm going to be doing game week 8, or match day 8, of the Premier League 2020-21 predictions guys. So, last time out is my worst week guys, I only got 3 points, yes, 3 points, I had a terrible week, I went for too many draws, and there were barely any draws, I don't think there actually was a draw, I don't think there was actually a draw last week, so yeah, that's ridiculous, so um, this time... Not as many draws, let's go with that guys. Um, but yeah, um, probably when I do this video, the Saram, uh, no, what games? No, the Brighton and Burnley game will be playing. Um, but I'm doing this before, okay? You have to trust me with this guys. I've done this before and I've, I've, I've you know, said it truthfully to you guys. So yeah, I've done this before. It's actually, um, I'll show you if you want. So it starts at half five and the um, game starts in four minutes. I don't know if you can see that, hang on. See that? I don't know if you can see it, you probably can't see it, but it actually says 526 or 1726. So, um, yeah, it's going to start soon. So, yeah, I need to get this video out for you guys. Um, so, yeah, without further ado, let's get going, guys. So, the um, first video, or uh, well, the first prediction, first match, whatever, um, today on Friday at 5.30, not on TV, it's uh, Brighton against Burnley. And both teams um, not doing the greatest this season. Obviously, Burnley doing terribly this season. Um, really, really struggling. I haven't really bought anyone except for Dale Stevens, but they didn't buy him. He was on a free transfer. I feel so sorry for Sean Dyche. Uh, Brighton did play a good game against Tottenham, of course, but their goal shouldn't have counted. Of course, Hoybier was fouled, but fair play to them anyway. But we still managed to get the win 2 1. Bale with the goal, of course, which is really good. Brighton playing really well this season, just not getting the results, but I think they'll get the result today. I'm going to go for 2 1 victory for Brighton. Brighton on a better side, and it's doing better this season, so yeah, why the hell not? And in the last game of Friday, there's only two today, guys. It's Southampton versus Newcastle, 8pm on Sky Sports. I'll definitely be watching this one. Obviously, Southampton without Danny Ings. Um, he's in my fantasy team. I forgot to change him out, so I'm annoyed about that. Hopefully, Vardy and Kane could do well this um, and Son this weekend for me. Um, but, yeah, Southampton and Newcastle, both in really, really good form. Both looking really, really good. So, this will be an interesting game. Um, I can't really decide this game, so I'm going to go with a 2-2 uh, draw, I think. Um, yeah, this will be an exciting game, but without Danny Ings, I think they'll struggle a bit. Um, so yeah, 2-2, two -two. let's just go with that. Um, and now moving on to Saturday's games, at 12.30 on BT, we do have um, a really big game. This is Everton versus Man United, 12.30. And Man United against Basaksa here. Oh, is that how you pronounce the name? I'm not too sure. Lost 2-1. I'm surprised... Onegana Solskjaer has not been sacked yet. I'm really surprised about that. Everton's starting to slip slightly as well, which is um, interesting. I knew they would, but this early on, really? Everton have done well to keep where they are. I think this is such a difficult game to uh, predict because Man United turn up one time, they beat Newcastle 4-1, they beat Leipzig 5-0, they beat PSG 2-1. Then they go news against Tottenham 6-1 and Basexa here 2-1. It's difficult to choose by, the, by their team. And I do not think Man United will be winning this one. I think I see a 2-1 victory for Everton in this one. I think Everton, yeah, they're not in great form anymore. But still, they're at home and I think they'll pull through. So, yeah, I'm going to go 2-1 Everton. Um, but I, I was kind of hope um, Man United win this one. Just to help us out, I guess, at the top. But, yeah, never mind. I'm going to go 2-1 Everton. Next up, one more minute until the game starts, by the way, guys. 29 now, 529. Next game at 3 pm, not on TV. We have Crystal Palace against Leeds. Um, and Leeds, very bad last time out against Leicester. 4 1 to Leicester at Eden Road, really, really not good. Palace, once again, very, very boring side, aren't they? Palace, obviously, losing 2 0 against Wolves. But they um, did well there, I guess, to um, get a point out at Brighton uh, against Brighton. So that was all right. So yeah, Palace looking strong this season defensively, attacking wise, a bit weak. Um, Leeds looking good attacking and weak at the back. So, yeah, this game this game will be an interesting one. But I see I see Leeds nicking it. I'm going to go over 2-1 victory for Leeds. I think they're a really good side. And, yeah, I think they'll nick it. So, yeah, 2-1 Leeds. Next up, guys, on at 5.30pm on Sky Sports, we have Chelsea against Sheffield United. Um, Sheffield United playing terribly this season. I thought they would struggle this season. I actually did put them 17th. I said they'll keep them up because of Chris Wilder. Mm, I might be wrong there. I think they might be going down this season. Um, they, they did play well against City, to be fair to them. So, yeah, give them credit to that. 
and Liverpool as well. So yeah, they might have a fighting chance, who knows. Um, but Chelsea looking really, really good recently. Mendy, of course, keeping five or six clean sh consecutive clean sheets. So yeah, congratulations to them. Great signing, great keeper. One of the best in Europe right now. Um, and I think Chelsea will win this one easily. I'm going to go with a... Uh, I'm going to go with a... Hmm... I'm going to go for a 3-0 victory to Chelsea. I don't think I see Mendy conceding again against a poor Sheffield United side. So, yeah, 3-0 Chelsea. And last but not least, on Saturday at 8pm, we do have West Ham against Fulham. Fulham kicking the season... Um, well, kicking, well, getting the first win of this season. A really good win against a relegated battle side, West Brom. Two new promoter sides, of course. 2-0, great win. West Ham, of course... Uh, very unlucky not to get a win against West Ham, against Liverpool. Played well again without Antonio, of course, as well. I don't think Antonio's here this week either. I'm not 100% sure. Um, that's, well, that's, that's too dark. That is, yeah, that's too dark. That's too dark. So, um, let me sort this camera out. Oh, wait, hang on. Is that, is that better? I don't really know. Let me sort this camera out. Right, hopefully that's better. I'm not 100% sure. But, yeah, um, I think this game will be a good game once again. But I think West Ham will get a victory. Yeah, I'm going to go with a 3-1 victory to West Ham. I think, of course, they're the better side. And if Antonio plays, this could be interesting. So yeah, 3-1 West Ham. Now let's move on to Sunday's games. And we've got four... Do we have any Monday games this week? We do not have any Monday games. So it's just Sunday games. Okay, guys, the game has started. Two minutes gone already. Um, and starting off on Sunday, it's my team, 12pm. This will be on BT course because early kickoff love the early kickoff here it's West Brom versus Tottenham we are great away not great home but away we're great West Brom struggling this season getting a few nice points but still not getting a win so yeah they haven't won this season they've drawn three so yeah this should be an easy win for us I'm going to go for a 3-0 victory to Tottenham um yes we probably well I'm saying we're not going to concede we probably will but I need to believe in the boys so yeah 3-0 Tottenham I think um Kane will get two and some of the goal why the hell not but it could be around. This could be, and this could send us top of the league. But knowing Tottenham, we're bottle jobs. We probably won't. Um, well, we probably won't get up there. And plus, West Brom are a bogey side. We always draw or lose against them um, every season. I remember last time they were up, we lost and drew against them. I think we lost at home two one. I think it was Gareth McCauley or Craig Dawson bullet ahead in a 90th minute. They beat us two one. Disappointing. I remember I was in bed at that time because um, I was, you know, I was probably about what, 13 maybe because. Um, uh, it wasn't on TV, so yeah. But hopefully this year we can beat them. 3-0 Tottenham. Next up on Sky Sports on 2pm, we have an interesting game. Really big game actually at the top here. We've got Leicester against Wolves. I think it's second against fifth, maybe, I do believe. Um, so around there. Um, I think this will be a very, very interesting game. It'll be goals galore here. And this... Uh, it'll be interesting. But I see Leicester nicking it here. I'm going to go for 3-2 victory to Leicester. There'll be goals galore. And Leicester will nick it. Vardy, you better score, mate, because you're in my fantasy team. So, yeah, 3-2 Leicester. Next up for the Sky, on Sky Sports once again, the big game of the weekend. Probably the biggest game of the season. This could predict the titles uh, winners this season. You never know. Well, pretty much every season. At 4.30 on Sky Sports, the, probably the whole of England will be watching this. Um, it's Man City against Les, uh, Liverpool. I need this up, damn. Man City against Liverpool. What a game already this season. It's been a mad one. Man City, of course, at home. But no fans, like always. This will be an interesting one. And I can't decide who I'm going to pick, honestly. Because um, Man City, Jesus has just come back, which is great, great time for them. Of course, Liverpool don't have any... Well, they still haven't got Van Dijk or Fabinho. They're both still injured. Of course, Van Dijk pretty much injured for the rest of the season. So... I'm going to go with a 3-2 three, three victory to Man City. I think they'll nick it just at the end. Maybe an 85th minute winner. Uh, but yeah, Man City would win. I'm sorry, Liverpool fans. But yeah, it's going to be a close one. I, I can't decide. It's only going to go off that because they have a striker back. And your defender's obviously still out. So yeah. Um, and last but not least, for the game week on match day 8, we do have on 7-15, it's Arsenal against Aston Villa. Aston Villa starting the season off incredibly well. Arsenal slipping a bit, but they did get a good win against Man United. 1-0, of course, a bum young penalty. Uh, finally, actually getting a goal this season. I think this is only second one, which is poor. Second or third one. Um, I think Arsenal should win this comfortably, but I don't think they will. I'm going to go for 2-1 victory to Arsenal. 
I think they'll nick it. But Aston Villa looking very good this season. So yeah, 2-1 Arsenal. And that's the end of my predictions, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please smash that button. Subscribe down below. Leave your predictions in the comment section down below. And yeah, I've got some very exciting openings coming to you guys. So loads of retro openings. I've been back on eBay. I've ordered um, a few boxes. So yeah, you better be surprised. You better be happy, guys. Because they're coming your way. On live streams, of course. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.